On Friday, September 9th, the Save the Children Fund partnered with Ashbrit to host a van dedication and ribbon cutting ceremony. The ribbon cutting took place at Kane's Kitchen in Whitesburg and was met with high praise from volunteers and community members involved. Mountaintop News spoke with Ashbrit CEO Brittany Perkins Castillo to get her thoughts on the event. So today we were here to celebrate and I'm proud to represent the entire Ashbrit team, many of whom have been living and working in Kentucky and our team members across the U.S. Uh, it's really important that when we're part of a community working here after disaster that we look for ways to be part of the long-term sustainable recovery of the community. And in living and working here for the last few weeks, we've gotten to know a lot of community members, including those uh, partnered up with the Cowan Community Center and Kane's Kitchen. And so today was a celebration of that partnership and the ability to work together to make positive impact in the community. At Pifel Medical Center, our vision of creating a heart and vascular institute that will rival any other in Kentucky is a reality. We've assembled a top team of more than 30 multidisciplinary providers. Together, those highly experienced providers perform many of the most advanced cardiac procedures available anywhere. We have armed them with cutting edge technology and resources needed to provide comprehensive heart care close to home. Pikeville Medical Center, when it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. With the new vans acquired by Ashbrit, they plan to distribute hot meals and educational books to children who are still struggling after the floods. With the help from both groups, Eastern Kentucky is healing even faster and better than before. The flooding here is as devastating as anything our team's ever seen. We've been uh, the leader in our business. We're celebrating our 30th year this year, and the impact that the floods had are, are I mean, devastating is the word. Uh, that said, our team has been proud to work alongside uh, most of our Crews are Kentucky businesses, a lot of local small businesses, so we're learning a lot working together. And the people here are resilient and strong and ready to work together to, you know, with us and, and help us learn about the community, and, and that's been a great pleasure. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.